hey guys welcome back today let's get right into it but before i go on guys if you have been watching my videos and you have been leaving comments i just want to take the time out to say thank you guys so much you guys have been motivating me if you have subscribed to my channel thank you so much really really you guys i dance every time somebody subscribes to my channel so i just wanted to take a few seconds out to just really say thank you and if you're just coming here for the first time thank you for coming and thank you for, thank you for stopping by do remember to subscribe it really helps i will be so grateful and i will do a happy dance i promise anyway so today is a very dramatic soap a very very dramatic this soap made me very unhappy i'm going to show you guys the process you guys know as usual melt down oils you know and then i'm going to um melt my coconut oil in the warm hard oils so this is a goat milk soap so my process is different i'm trying to keep the temperatures down and um it's going to be goat milk and charcoal because charcoal activated charcoal guys is literally like <laughs> some super lovely ingredients to use i'm not going to go too much about it because i can just go on and on so anyways now i'm just going to measure out my milk yes in my little heart shaped you know molds <laughs> i just love to make things fun and then here to keep my temperatures down i'm now going to put in some ice cubes to form a type of ice bath and keep everything as cool as possible once the lye starts to go into it and then i'm going to measure out my lye then we'll proceed now guys you guys know how this works so i'm just not going to keep going on explaining I'm just going to start by letting you guys know that this was a major disaster. Literally, everything was going fine. I was so happy. And then it just started to have one issue or another. Like, I'm not, I, I know I'm not the only sopa who has issues, but little things literally can entirely spoil my, my mood with this soap making thing. I literally nearly had a heart attack, even. I'll show you guys. I'll show you guys everything that happened. Just keep watching till the end. It really is dramatic. And then, um, yeah, so here I'm just melting down my um, milk. You can see there I did it really slowly. I'm, I didn't bother showing you guys the entire process because I last week I put up a video on how to make goat milk soap and it was very, very detailed and thorough. So if you're interested in learning how to make goat milk soap, Please go on to my previous video and watch that. So here I'm mixing my hard oils with my soft oils, adding some sodium lactate, and then the entire Goo Goo Gaga is going to begin. <laughs> so, um, oh, there I added my citric acid as well to the oils, uh, you know, just to kind of incorporate that. And then I'm going to filter in my goat milk so guys um i don't know about you but like it took me three tries to get my final results for this soap and i don't know man <laughs> i don't know i made all the dumbest mistakes with this soap and i'm gonna tell you guys so now i've just um you know mixed it onto an emulsion and then i'm going to separate it because i just want to do a little tiny design on the top on the top of the soap so that was my aim with this soap to just have a little design on the top the entire thing was going to be charcoal because charcoal is bay for me i love activator charcoal and so now i've just mixed it in you know i don't know if there was just something hovering over me but everything was just going a bit weird here you could see i was struggling there with the chunks of charcoal anyhow i managed to mix that in then i proceeded to pouring my fragrance oil now this is a really sweet smelling fragrance oil and so it discolors and obviously that's why i'm pouring it just in the black and i didn't pour it in the um 
white or non-colored soap butter that was just for design purpose anyways so things were going perfect here things were going fine i absolutely loved it i had poured this in the mold it was time for my design i just thought you know what i'm going to do little hearts and you know i just thought okay let's try to pour little tiny circles and then use a swirl stick to kind of draw my heart it was going to be my first time trying this out because I had never done this before. I've seen the technique done by a few sopers, but I had never tried it before. So I just thought, you know what, let's just try something new, right? And then I got my stick. I did the first one. It was a bit odd. It just wasn't working. I don't know if my stick was too big or something, but I just thought, you know what, go into my usual second plan and you can see that while i was swirling the heart started to come up but anyways i was already done in my head with that design i didn't waste time so i did this and well it wasn't my favorite because i think i'm getting bored of this now but i still liked it it wasn't too bad so here i'm unmolding the next day and you can see that it's starting to stick to you know this is where i think i started to have bad feelings about the soap oh well it wasn't too bad you know i just knew i could bevel the edges come to the cutting and look disaster disaster literally you know this is good for use at home but definitely not for sale so yep new soap <laughs> new soap yeah because I mean, I'm making the soap for my customers, my awesome customers. And so I cannot, I cannot for the life of me sell soap that is awkwardly cut. I mean, I can, but, you know, not to this level. When I say awkwardly cut, it has to be, it has to be reasonable at least, right? So I don't know if it's a perfection, perfectionist thing. But I just definitely couldn't do it. And so I had to start a new batch. And so here I'm just going to show you guys the process while I make the new batch. And by the way, guys, I forgot to tell you guys why my soap was cut so awkwardly. I do not have the type of soap cutter that I think I need <laughs> yet. That's because, you know, over time I'm probably going to get one. Hopefully my business grows, you guys support me, and I mean, really, it, you guys will help me with your support. Help me in many ways. You can subscribe to my channel, that's one way to support. You can, you know, check out my website and see if there's something you like. There's so many ways to support. Anywho, guys, eventually I'm going to buy a soap, a soap cutter. I have a few, actually, no, I have one in mind but i will get that when you know the business gets to the point where it can buy it for itself anywho guys so that's how my soap cutter because right now i use a funny <laughs> a cheese slicer i'm sure you, you guys have probably seen it you'll probably see it at some point in this video i use a cheese slicer to cut my soaps and so sometimes things can really go bad but 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 it actually wasn't this cheese slicer that cost the last one so i had gone cheap on trying to buy a soap cutter and then i went and bought some really weird thing that has just never ever worked for me really really weird thing i bought it on etsy and i regret it so much like i don't even know what to do but I don't even want to show you guys because I know some people do use it and it works for some people, but it just never works for me. I guess it's the type of soap, the shapes of my soaps and things like that. It never, ever works for me. So it really was like a waste of money for me. And it was cheap though, so it wasn't like a lot of money. But yeah, that's what ruined that first um, batch. And so I'm just never going to use that soap cutter again. So yeah, this video really is really just me here ranting to you guys about my soap and everything that went wrong. But yeah, that's why you guys are there for me. You guys are probably the only ones who will understand the pain. <laughs> the pain of having soaps go bad. Anywho. So this is the next batch. Now I'm going, I'm doing the same thing. Putting a little out for my design. Pouring my charcoal in. Mixing that in this time with a whisk. And then, yes, we'll proceed to pouring. Oh, yeah, but I still have to put my fragrance oil and, yep, mix that in. Then we'll proceed to pouring. And then, 
this time i chose something else see every time i did this thing again i wanted to do something else with my soap design so here guys watch so at this time i decided to do this but it was very pointless because it's black and it's black underneath it but i kept doing it every time and i <laughs> i think i'm just always thrilled with pouring that black battle on the side right so it, it just was so pointless anywho so i decided to do a ring pour here of course it was just black coming out well now the white is coming out so i really didn't even have to pour the black in the mold but in, in the cup rather but anywho so yeah so this was coming out perfectly i loved it however i should have planned my pattern i should have planned the direction I would go in with the ring pour, but I didn't. And so at some point I started to go over, as you can see there. And so it started to look a little bit messy. I kind of liked it. I took a second, looked at it properly, but I thought, nah, there's something, there's something. You can see there, I moved it. I was going to leave it, but I said, nah, it doesn't quite hit the spot for me. So I got the stick again and I decided to swirl so now i'm like okay let's just do something that would look like a marble let's make it random so i'm like okay where do i start from i start doing this thing and it's just going so nicely i just love it you know and i'm like okay this is this is looking nice and then here i'm swirling and i'm just going to show you guys the swirl in silence because it's very relaxing you guys deserve to watch it in silence <laughs> So guys, this soap was going perfectly. I just really loved it. It looked like a beautiful marble. But then in my insane mind, I decided to oven process this. And this is a goat's milk soap. You do not, you do not force gel goat's milk soaps. But I think I was just thinking, well, I want the black to pop a little bit more. And so I'll just pop it in the oven. So I turned the oven on, turned it off, left it open for some time so that it would cool down just a little and popped it in and here. Here, guys, this is literal separation happening. There's oil floating on top. It's looking black and I literally just could cry. My heart was sinking. I didn't understand. I looked at the one that was left over in the mold here that didn't go in the oven and it was perfect so i knew i had messed this up by myself this was definitely impossible to you know i cannot even use this myself talk less of sell it so hey hey so well next day i still just kept my fingers crossed hoping some type of reabsorption would happen nope you could even tell from how much it came off there was just oil all over it and so now here i'm cutting i'm gonna cut it and my two fast sticks as usual show up but anyways when i cut this soap open it was literally just dripping oil there was just oil everywhere i knew i just would have to rebatch this and i'm going to show you guys just how much oil was on there you guys can you look at that it's just it, it's impossible to even use so i just thought you know what this definitely has to be rebatched and this one really hurt me because i was so happy with the swirls and everything but hey this is the one that nearly gave me a heart attack <laughs> anyway so here i'm just showing you guys how bad the oils were dripping and i'm going to show you guys the video of how i rebatched this soap so stick around it's going to come up soon i'm going i'll show you the rebatch it was actually a lot easier than i thought and i kind of like those ugly 
rustic soaps and I'm calling them the ugly soaps. But anyways, we'll get to the rebatch when we do the rebatch video. Here is just this one. And so now I'm going to have to start this soap again. So I'm doing it a third time. You guys, I, I had to hyperlapse the third one just so I don't bore you guys. I even checked the pH and the pH looked fine, but I just didn't trust it. So here, starting again and doing it again for the third time. So this time I decided to bring out my loaf mode because I don't know I just wanted to break the chain I just felt like there was some type of bad omen <laughs> I had prayed over my work area and yeah so now it's time to do my swirls so here I'm doing a ring pour again I felt I had planned the pattern but I just didn't like it it just looks it still looks weird I do like this ring pour I'm, I need to figure out how to use the ring pour to actually make something nice but anyways that's for another time so now i'm going to do my usual swirl however this time oh first i thought i could do a marble but i didn't really like the way it was coming out so this time i just thought i'm going to do the usual swirl that i do and here i'm using a thinner skewer my two fast sticks and trying to get like a much thinner swirl this time so it looks like a nice corn roll and I just really loved that corn roll pattern and you know I was very satisfied with this one this is after tons of I mean after after two or should I say three tries I had to just be satisfied with this because I, I really was tired of redoing the soap but yeah guys so this is how it turned out So if there's anything, I learned two lessons from making this soap and that is one, do not, do not skim from buying a good soap cutter. Don't go buy, don't, you know, don't buy cheap. Don't buy, don't go cheap on soap cutters. It really will come back to bite you and you could waste lots of money on your soap. So what's the point of going cheap if you're still going to be wasting money? And number two, never oven process. I would never force gel or goat milk soap. So here, this is the next day. I'm really happy with this one. And I hope you guys have learned a, two, a thing or two from my own mistakes and my own foolishness. <laughs> but thank you guys for watching. If you're still here to this point, you definitely love this content. And thank you. I appreciate it. But don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you're enjoying it. So guys, you can see this turned out so much better. The cuts, perfect. Everything, perfect. I literally was so happy that I finally got this right. And yeah, so that's it. Um, thank you guys once again for watching. And yeah, have a great day. Bye.